On the surface, large numbers of newspapers and magazines are available on the streets of Tehran. And President Ahmadinejad says the press has never been freer. But since his re-election last June, when anti-government protesters took to the streets, his administration has seriously tightened its grip on opposition newspapers. Dozens of reporters are in prison, charged with conspiring against the government. More journalists are in prison than at any point in recent history, and newspapers and magazines receive frequent notices from the authorities to change their content or form. Take this newspaper for example. It's called Tehran Emruz and it came under fire for its logo. It was said to resemble a dancing woman. So the paper announced it will change the logo to avoid unnecessary hassle. Surprisingly, Tehran Emruz is a pro-government daily that defends President Ahmadinejad frequently. The opposition papers are facing tougher time, of course. This one, for example, is called Iran Docht, and it's a reformist weekly. Its last issue is still on display here, but from Monday, it was banned from printing new editions. The same happened to Iran's most popular reformist newspaper, Etamad. Iran Docht and Etamad were the sixth and seventh major reformist publications to be banned since the presidential elections last June. While some prominent conservatives say the government is overreacting, the government says it's only implementing the law. Shutting down the press that breaks the law and is against Islamic values will help create trust. It will help our Muslim people trust and respect the press. It will encourage men of thought to enter the profession and make newspapers a launch pad for new thoughts. They're in no such position right now. Azadeh Mohammad Hossein has been a journalist in Tehran for 15 years. Many of the papers she has worked for have been shut down for one reason or another. Azadeh has worked for 17 publications throughout her career and feels unsettled professionally. I'm tired of moving. Honestly, I think I would have been a better journalist had I worked with one newspaper steadily. Half my energy is thinking what would I do if and when this newspaper is closed down. It wears you down. Critics say that's exactly what the government's strategy is about. Wearing down and tiring its critics in the press. And for many like Azadeh, remaining within the boundaries drawn by the government is the only way they can keep their jobs. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.